Welcome to Text Donation. Joining us is Ted Cardenas, Vice President of Marketing at Pioneer Electronics. Thank you for joining us again, Ted. Great, Fred. Thank you for having us. Well, you're expanding your move into aftermarket automotive driver assistance. You've got some new devices coming to market that, that look really interesting, designed to help prevent accidents. Tell me about them. Yeah, the, the, the new products, um, we have an SDA BS900-101, and those are aftermarket, um, really kind of universal blind spot detection systems. Um, and this type of technology has become extremely popular in new vehicles over the last several years. Um, but uh, as, as you know, and as we've discussed in the past, um, Pioneer's aftermarket electro- automotive electronics vision, what, what we really are focused on is bringing that latest technology even to the existing vehicles that are on the road. Um, and so this technology actually works by using microwave radar sensors um, mounted either in the, the rear corners, the left and right rear corners of the vehicle, um, or um, a sensor array that can mount above the license plate, making it even easier to install. Um, and these microwave radar arrays actually will detect vehicles that are in the traditional, what we consider the blind spot of the vehicle, um, the, the area that is visibly difficult for the driver to see um, either in their mirrors or by um, looking over their shoulder. And so these microwave radar arrays will alert the driver into vehicles being in either the left or the right blind spot and provide a visual warning by uh, some flashing lights that can mount on the the left and right A pillars or the sides of the windshield of the the vehicle. Uh, And if the driver engages the turn signal, it'll also give an audible beep. Um, So a a good visual and audible warning that there may be a vehicle um, in your blind spot. This is one of the leading causes, I I suppose, of of motor vehicle accidents, uh, these blind spot issues. Yeah, you know, and, and it's it's really um, something that's significant in a lot of uh, larger cities where, you know, we often are driving on multi-lane highways and, and in congested traffic. Um, but it's also, uh, you know, kind of important. Um, the, the secondary kind of function of this product is the ability to do what we call cross-traffic detection. And this is common in, in almost all areas. Um, and that is when you're backing out of a parking spot, let's say you're at the local grocery store um, and you are backing out of a parking spot, the system will actually detect if there are vehicles coming from the left and the right when the vehicle is reversing. Um, and that is another very common um, you know, incident where uh, you know, you're, you're backing out, um, you kind of looked around the vehicle, but you can't see because of that blind spot, that natural blind spot of your vehicle, you can't see vehicles coming from the left and the right this will give, again, that audible and visual warning that there's a vehicle approaching. So it's a really, um, it's an interesting and a, and a, a great technology that um, really can help the driver make better driving decisions, whether they're reversing out of a parking spot with cross-traffic detection um, or while they're driving their vehicle on a, on a multi-lane road and, and it gives that extra level of security um, knowing that there's a vehicle in your blind spot. And uh, describe the technologies you're using once again with these. Uh, really fascinating. Yeah, it's uh, so that we have three models. Um, the top model, which is uh, SDA BS 900, that is uh, uh, places a uh, radar microwave radar sensor array in the left and right rear corners of the bumper. Um, those arrays will actually kind of look both forward and rear of those rear corners, and uh, using that radar uh, microwave radar they actually will detect those, those uh, vehicles that might be in your blind spot. Um, the 100, the SDA BS 101, which are the um, kind of lower of the three models, um, those are a little bit more universal because they don't install under the bumper. Um, they actually install around the vehicle's license plate. Um, it's a small bar that mounts either to the top or bottom, so a little more flexibility. You know, some people like to, to tow um, using kind of that bumper hitch, um, so you can put the microwave bar on top of the license plate. Um, if you have uh, maybe some uh, a factory installed backup camera, maybe you want the bar on the bottom of the license plate. So it gives a lot of installation flexibility. And because it doesn't go under the bumper, um, it is much more seamless in terms of uh, the time involved in, in installation. Now that, because it does mount in the center of the vehicle, it is uh, it does have a few um, less uh, microwave radar uh, sensors. 
um, but it still functions very, very um, well. Um, the range is slightly different. So on the 900, the top model, we have a range of up to 82 feet. Um, on the 100 and the 1, the lower two models, with the universal license plate mount, um, the range is about 50 feet. Um, and so you uh, would kind of have two different choices. Um, the under the bumper 900, which doubles the sensor array um, and has larger or longer range, um, or the more universal type that is a lot easier to install, um, which gives a 50 feet range. Um, but again, the significance of, of being much simpler in terms of installation, flexibility, and installation uh, time. Tell us about pricing and availability. Yeah, actually, all three models are available today. Um, we began shipping uh, this month to our uh, authorized retailers across the United States. Um, the SDA BS900 has a, a suggested price of $900, and that is before installation. Um, installation of this type of product is a little bit more involved. The 900, again, goes underneath the, the bumper skins of the vehicle. And so it, it does require removal of the rear bumper. And so it is a little bit more involved installation. Installation will vary, but um, most consumers should expect a, at least a couple of hundred dollars um, for installation. The SDA BS100 and BS1 carries a suggested price of $500. Um, that, too, uh, we are recommending installation, but, again, because it just mounts to the license plate frame, um, it is a much more simple installation. And then, of course, all three products involve, you know, the installation of the lights on the left and right sides of the windshield. It's a little flexible in terms of where those mount, um, as well as the mounting of the, the buzzer, the beeper speaker that goes into the vehicle um, so that the systems can provide both the visual um, and an indication of whether or not the, the vehicle in your blind spot is on the left or the right side, as well as that audible beeping sound to help alert the driver. Really interesting and great protection for drivers. A lot of people are, are holding on to their cars for longer periods of time today. Where can people go for more information? Um, for more information, you can visit Pioneer Electronics' website, which is www.pioneerelectronics.com. Ted Cardenas, thank you for taking the time with us. Absolutely, Fred. Always a pleasure. Cooking with the power of the song. Hi, I'm Fred Fishkin, here to tell you about the latest innovation from my friend Patrick Sherwin and his great team at GoSun Stove. The GoSun Fusion has arrived using the company's tried-and-true reflectors and a solar vacuum tube to get you cooking without the mess of charcoal, heavy propane tanks, or smoke. A really bright idea. And with an optional solar panel and battery storage and the ability to plug in at home or on the road, you really can use the GoSun Fusion to cook anytime and anywhere, day or night, rain or shine. I love what Patrick and his team are doing, and so will you. Want to learn more? Head to GoSun.co to check out all of the company's products and innovations and use the code TEXTANATION to save 10%. That's GoSun.co.